What's up guys, my name is Ryan Shirley and last summer I explored Northern Norway and I want to show you my five favorite spots. Now to get to Norway, I flew into Tromso and from Tromso I made the long drive all the way to Lofoten. So the first stop on our way to Lofoten was the town of Henningsvar, Norway to see the world's most scenic soccer field. Now, when we got here, I was blown away because there was nobody at the soccer field. We had it all to ourselves, but we were stupid because we didn't bring a soccer ball. So we ended up running around senselessly, doing a bunch of cartwheels and weird tricks and, and flying our drone around the soccer field. We spent probably one or two hours there. I mean, we had an amazing time. I was just flying my drone, getting some of the cool shots I've ever gotten. Make sure you put that on your list and make sure you bring a soccer ball. So after Henningsvar, we made the two hour drive to the infamous beach of Kaval Vlika. Now Kaval Vlika, it's about a two kilometer hike into the beach and you're gonna start walking on these planks through this marsh and then you're gonna kind of hit the saddle and it's gonna start turning rocky then you're gonna start walking down towards the beach. Now this beach is gonna blow your freaking mind. Like I could not believe how pretty this was. And we came right when the sun was setting so it had this like natural glow and it was just unbelievable. The water is like a Caribbean blue. The grass is green, like it feels like you're in like somewhere tropical and then the mountains are just absolutely huge. Like it is unbelievable. So we got there and there's this peak and we wanted to hike to the top and get a better vantage point. So we started sprinting up the mountain to try to reach there before sunset. About 30 minutes into it, I was dying. It was like, it is extremely hard, extremely steep. And unfortunately we didn't make it to the top, but we still got amazing drone shots. We were able to fly the drone to the top of the peak to get that beautiful vantage point. It was absolutely beautiful. I would highly recommend it. If you guys have a tent, you can actually camp there. So after we took a different way back, from the top when you had to walk on these wooden planks it was extremely marshy so be prepared you might get your shoes and pants wet so that night we spent the night in airbnb the next day we made the 30 minute drive to rain now if you type in norway on google search rain will pop up and it is just like what you would imagine norway to be it just has these massive sea mountains that rise out of the ocean it is green, it is beautiful, and it has these red houses that are just absolutely stunning. So we got there, we flew the drone around, we rocked around the town. If you plan on visiting the Foten Islands, make sure you stop at rain. It's gonna blow your mind. So after rain, we drove back, we visited a really cool beach, and got some other cool shots. So after visiting rain, we took the long journey all the way up to Senja. And Senja is what originally drew my attention to Northern Norway, and it was the reason why I came. There's this mountain that absolutely just blew my mind when I saw it. And it's in this town in Senja. So how to get there? It's in a town called Fjordard. You're gonna drive through this tunnel, it's super sketchy, and then you're gonna get into the small town of Fjordard. You're gonna drive up to the base of the mountain. I hiked up, it was actually a pretty difficult hike and I got to the top and I was just mind blown by this mountain that just sticks out of nowhere. There's, there was that big mountain right there, then over to my right side, there's more mountains and just super beautiful. And this all sits on the super high cliff that just drops straight down. So it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, what I did is I decided that I was gonna spend the night up there um, so I could see the Northern Lights. So I literally just had my blanket and a pillow and my camera gear and I used that to keep me warm. And I waited till the sun to go down. It took like three hours since I was so high up, the sun just sets a lot slower. But anyways, I waited and the door lights came and it absolutely blew my mind. The lights were on for like two hours. I was like having time of life, getting time lapses, getting some amazing drone footage. And uh, then I decided that I wasn't gonna spend the night. It was too freaky. So I hiked down to my car. And then the very next day, I explored more Senya and I visited the place of Tungensted and Bergboten. Tungensted is about a 30 minute drive from Fjordard. I got some really cool drone shots there and it was super beautiful. And then I made the drive over to Bergenboten. Bergenboten has this very popular lookout 
I decided to go somewhere different. I decided to do a hike by a nearby lake instead. I found this lake and I saw this, this was gonna be a really cool view, so I decided to hike up this mountain um, and I was able to get some phenomenal drone shots. I got to see some like really cool lakes, just giant mountains and absolute gorgeous view. And then I eventually hiked back down and then that night I spent the whole night just capturing the northern lights, getting some beautiful footage of Senya. After that, I made the drive back and got on the airplane and that was my Norway trip. Anyways, those are my top places in Northern Norway and I hope this helps when you're planning your trip. Anyways, it's Ryan Shirley and we will see you later.